Or Linda Johnson, the next prosecutor selected, resigned from the case today? She did. Based in part on the conduct we're here discussing, correct? Uh, I believe that Ms. Johnson uh, uh, has, Ms. Johnson didn't want their, my understanding is, is that she didn't agree with the decision to have a public hearing. I resigned because this morning I learned for the first time that there was some evidence that was not turned over to the defense in this particular case. And when that became clear, as prosecutors, we have particular obligations. We have ethical obligations to ensure that, that the process works. We have to disclose evidence. We have to be transparent. And the decision at the time, my recommendation was for the case to be dismissed. And when that was not, my voice was not heard, I asked the, the, the judge to allow me to withdraw from the case. As prosecutors, we don't get to decide what a defense is going to be. If the evidence could be potentially helpful to the defense, if the evidence is material, if it could uh, lead to potentially creating reasonable doubt, it's got to go. It's, it has to be disclosed to the defense. And my belief, I was a prosecutor for over a decade, a state and federal prosecutor for over a decade. And I will tell you that prosecutors have to be above reproach. The ethical duties and obligations of a prosecutor come before wanting a conviction, before trying to secure a conviction. We have to be transparent. And when that doesn't happen, the system fails. And it fails for all of us. And when I saw that, my recommendation was we need to dismiss this case because it's too late in the process.